Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico from the Creativity Cave and welcome to a really awesome video. I am going to make for you five fantastic cards featuring stamp sets that are being retired that are on my definitely do not miss list. Now all of these sets are guaranteed to be available through May 22nd, just a couple days from now. And after that, they will be while supplies last. So you don't want to miss out on them. Also, tonight is the last night of my birthday special. I'll put all of that information in the description of this video, as well as the links to my blog post so you can see the photos and dimensions of all of my projects. The dimensions might not fit in the description of this video with all the other information, but I will have links for all the products I used, and then you can click over to my blog to see those dimensions. I'll try and call them out as I'm going um, along the way. Now, my first card is a card I just love. It is going to feature a really cool color combination. And normally I don't put this many colors on a card, but it totally works with this. And that color combination is Terracotta Tile, Grapefruit Grove, Mango Melody, Daffodil Delight, Pool Party, and Bermuda Bay. I even said it well. Good job, Dina. <laughs> so let me show you these colors. This was actually a challenge that was issued by Stampin' Up. Um, one of the things I love about being a demonstrator is being able to... Um, participate in our our demonstrator Facebook group and so I'm just going to smoosh these together and I'm I'm using the Sweetly Swirled stamp set and I love this little image I love this set but this cute little image for some reason it just it has me kind of in love so I'm gonna quick actually I'm going to quick clean this stamp and go on to my next color. I love the kind of corally colors mixed with the aqua colors. I think they're so pretty. So I'll move on to Grapefruit Grove. Now this is one of our retiring in colors. It's a really nice color, kind of a soft orange shade that I just really like. Next, I'll do Mango Melody, which is actually one of my favorites. We'll close these other pads up so we don't have a situation, <laughs> as can happen from time to time. All right, and this is kind of an orangey yellow. Mango is a great description, and I'm just stamping these. I'm kind of turning them as I go so that they're not all exactly even. And I'll clean, and then we'll do Daffodil Delight, which is a nice, happy yellow. I got a little schmutz on my stamp. There we go. Okay, such a pretty color. And I'm keeping my rows fairly even, just a little bit off. Love the look. Next up, I've got some Pool Party. And we'll just add, oh, look at that aqua next to the yellow. So awesome. Okay. Then we've got our final color, which is Bermuda Bay. And next to Coastal Cabana, this is the second best color we have, in my opinion. All right. So I've got all these, and isn't that just a fun little kind of rainbow? Now I'm going to take and add my sentiment. I forgot to grab that before I got started. And I think this is such a perfect sentiment for the sign of the times right now. And that is, you're really missed. And that is such a great sentiment and something that I think anybody would love to receive in the mail, a card that said that. I mean, who would not want to know that they're missed in this life? So... I think this is a great card to send to your girlfriends or a family member you haven't seen in a while. Whatever. And we'll stamp that right at the bottom. And, of course, we have to jazz this up a little bit with some rhinestones. So I'll just take my rhinestones, and I love using my Take Your Pick tool to place these onto my card. And I've got kind of an old set of rhinestones that I still had s sticking around. We used to have these that were kind of, um, they had little chains of them that are stuck together. And I'm just going to put a couple around 
like one on each row, maybe two, and spread them out so they're kind of all over the place. There we go. So there's one in each row and just kind of randomly on there. Now I'm gonna attach this to a layer of Bermuda Bay cardstock and then I will add it to a layer of Coastal Cabana as a card base. And um, my white layer is three and three quarters by five. And then my Bermuda Bay layer is about four by five and a quarter, maybe just a little under that. And then I'll pop this layer up. I love the look of popping up a layer onto your card because I think it just makes it look fancy. And then I'll finish with a really wonderful card. And I kind of think um, when I have that layer of pool party and then the layer of um, Bermuda Bay, you sort of get the Coastal Cabana, which is my card base color <laughs> as a result. Okay, so there's my first card. My next card is another really, actually I've, we're gonna do two cards. They're both really simple, um, but I get them because I'm die cutting one of these pieces. Now this next card is going to feature the Broadway birthday uh, stamp set actually and the coordinating dies and so I used the little marquee die here to cut out the marquee and then I'm gonna make two really simple cards with these stamps now to do that I'm going to start by stamping the word hooray in granny apple green ink on this piece of granny apple green cardstock and this is such a fun stamp hooray I mean that could be for all kinds of stuff I'm feeling like right now I need to make this card for my kids that say, hooray, you survived school this year. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Next up, um, I'm going to, I just got some ink on myself, so I don't want to get it anywhere else. I'm going to add this to a Whisper White thick card base. I love our thick card stock for a nice sturdy card. I just need to find my bone folder here. Give that a good crease and what I want to do is place this piece on my card and like about there and then ahead of time I embossed so this would be done um, the it's your birthday which is from this stamp set and I'm just gonna trim that out with my snips and I love the it's your birthday sentiment and I love it even more embossed in white on black cardstock so I heat embossed this with white embossing powder I used my Versamark um, ink pad and then heat set it and we're gonna do that on another card in a minute so that's why I had this one done ahead of time so I'll just add this right here um, but I want to stamp the background to make it kind of fun so for this I'm going to use a fun happy color combination I'm going to use some coastal cabana and I'll just add this actually you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the string for my I'm stamping some balloons. I'm going to stamp the string first. So this marquee will kind of go right here, and I'll use this to help me figure out the positioning of my strings for my balloons. So I want that kind of low on my card. So I'll stamp the first one there, another one up here, and then this one kind of down there. So there's my three balloons, and then my marquee will kind of cover all of them. And I'll stamp the first one in Coastal Cabana. I'll clean my stamp. It's under here somewhere. <laughs> and then I'll color the second one in some Grapefruit Grove. Then I'll do my third in that Granny Apple Green.
So that looks fantastic. Look how fun these colors are. And then to finish this up, our stamp set has this kind of cute little diamond. It's very retro. And I'll kind of add that in some Mango Melody. And I do love this color combination too. These are just like fun, fresh colors that you can add to a card to really just brighten it up. And this diamond pattern is just, like I said, it's really cute and retro which is kind of the theme of the stamp set, I guess. A little bit, it's got that retro look. Okay, so I'll pop this layer up onto our card because like I said, I think that makes the card kind of special and pretty. And then I will add to it our sentiment. And sometimes after I add this, I feel like I need to add a little more a few more diamonds so there's kind of an open space right here so we'll just throw one in there perfect and maybe one more down here and one more there now I'm done okay <laughs> now what happened to my sentiment now for this I'm gonna adhere it right here but this part that sticks off I'll just take a little of my edge piece to adhere that and it should fit under here pretty well. I'm gonna, my angle is kind of wrong, so I'll line it up like that. And then to get this onto my card, I'll just put a little bit of liquid glue and that will hold it in place. Right about there. And how fun is that? Now, like anything, we could add a few, a few little blings to this. So I'll just take a few, couple of these rhinestones off of my sheet here and embellish away because they're just so fun and just a, a little bit of bling now I have this other piece left so I can make another really cute card with the background piece and this one is another really simple card so that marquee portion is just too cute to let go. So let's quick make another card with this. Now for this one, I'm using the same stamp set and all the same um, things, but I want a little bit more of a masculine flair to this card. So I'm going to take and stamp in a little bit different colors. So I've got some Daffodil Delight. For this, I've got, let me close these up before I have a situation. I've got some cherry cobbler. We'll keep with the granny apple green and then I'll have a nice blue. So I think this is a great color combination for a little boy, for a man, whatever. But it's not quite as girly as maybe the last color combination. So I'll take that party hat and I'm going to need to clean my stamp in between each. So let me pull this out so it's open and ready. So I'll just stamp these like so, going across, cleaning in between each color and just keep on going. And these are just fun, again, happy colors, but maybe just a little bit less feminine looking. So you could, you could give this to anybody on your birthday list, which is great and a good card to have kind of hanging around. I'll do one more blue hat. So isn't that cute? All right, now we're going to take our marquee and put this right over our hats, but we're going to pop that up. Now to do that, I will take my mini dimensionals and... They are just going to fit right on there if you're careful. So we'll use several of these going around our marquee sign. And it's just so fun. One more. Uh, 
Okay. And just like the last card, I did stamp and emboss another happy birthday, or it's your birthday, pardon me. And we will use that on here as well. We'll just trim that out like so. And just like the last one, we'll pop this up over our marquee. And <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> my friend just got here. And my dog is excited to see her. And my husband keeps saying the word prancing. <laughs> All right. So how fun is that? So two super cute cards with one stamp set and one die cut piece. All right, guys, our next card uses the Tropical Chic bundle. Well, stamp set and coordinating dies. I have most of, well, actually I've got half of them out to be honest. We're going to stamp these really cool leaves and I'm kind of using it in a different way this time. I love these two leaves and then this really cool die that comes with this set. And um, to do this, I'm going to kind of clean my stamps off quick because um, I'm going to do them in two colors. To achieve that, I'm going to stamp with some So Saffron and I'm going to ink up my stamp like this. And then I've got a sponge dauber that I'm going to use with some grapefruit grove. So you want to start with the lighter color and then we're going to add darker to it with a sponge dauber. When I do that, I'm just going to go on the tips of my petal or my leaves. And then when I stamp this down, it looks like this. So it's just kind of a subtle touch because it sort of blends. Now, the reason I like doing that is one of one way you can get that look is if I take this and then I can do a technique called rock and roll. You might have heard of this where you just kind of rock the stamp around. Now, that's really great, but this is what you get. And I don't think that looks at all nice. But when I do this technique to it, then I get that look and I've so I've cut both of these out so you didn't have to wait for me to do that on camera but you can see this is much more subtle and pretty looking and that's kind of whoa stark <laughs> I don't like the look of that now I'm combining that with um, this piece that I've die cut using some Coastal Cabana cardstock and I love the color and I really like the combination of these two with kind of that um, contrast between the two. I'm also going to take another soft color, which is soft sea foam, and I'm going to use some white ink to create a little background on this, and it's going to go behind this panel. So, and I think I forgot one of my pieces of cardstock, but we'll cut it quick, so no big deal. All right, um, I'm just going to grab some paper to protect my work surface. And so, ooh. there we go, look at that. I didn't have my stamp very well inked on that first one. But this is gonna be, like I said, really subtle because it's white on an already pretty light color of cardstock. But it's going to add a nice subtle touch to the background of this card and kind of bring all these different things together. Like so. There we go. Isn't that cool? So that is a really neat background with our white ink. And then I'm going to adhere this to another white thick card base. Like so, grab my glue. And 
and just a little skinny layer of the white is gonna show. This layer of soft sea foam is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I need a little piece. Let's see. I think I may have a piece cut that is the right size. Ooh, so close. Let me pull out my trimmer. was my scoring blade. Yeah, I really kind of messed that up. <laughs> Let's try this again. It might be a little smaller than I thought. Okay, there we go. It's all good. Let's see, what did I do there? So four and a half by three and a quarter. Now this is a little bit smaller than I planned, but we'll make it work. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this layer onto my card. Like so. And then we're going to add this layer right here. We'll pop this up. Again, we'll use our mini dimensionals because those work so nicely under these little kind of smaller areas. And I love the idea of having some dimension under here. Okay. Now the last thing I'm going to do before I add my leaves to this is I'm going to stamp my sentiment. And there's a couple of great sentiments in this stamp set. And the one that I love is You're the Greatest, which I think is just so cute. So I'll pop that up just kind of right there. And we'll add our leaves. They'll kind of fit here and here. And then we're going to add our sentiment on top. I'm going to stamp it on black cardstock once again. I love the look of that. And we're going to heat emboss it with white. So I'll show you how that goes. Um, We'll stamp in Versamark ink. You're the greatest. I've got my white powder. I'll run that across. Tap off the excess. And then I'll heat and box. Now when I heat emboss from behind, it's really helpful because you can see what you're doing a little better. And you can also keep from the little specks of powder from blowing up and potentially um, melting to your cardstock in a place you don't want them. And there we have it. Now I'm going to punch this out with my, I think this is called the story label punch. But like I said, I'll have all my supplies listed in the description of this video with links to my online store in case you'd like to take advantage of my birthday special. All right, I will adhere these with a couple glue dots. And then we'll add our sentiment right over the top. Ooh, I don't want that sticking out quite so far. There we go. Ah, much better. And I'll pop this up on top of those two leaves. I've got two more cards. I know this is probably the most I've done in a video that's not live, um, but they're going to be worth it. Okay. Isn't that cute? Actually, you know what? This needs some bling. Let's be honest. Um, here we are. A little tacky stuff coming out of my take your pick tool again and I'm gonna just add a few of these on here maybe one right there and a couple more 
because we can. Why not, right? <laughs> there we go. All right. Our next is a really cool set. And this was one I did a video last night um, showing all kinds of samples from sets that are retiring. And if you, I will link that video, by the way, in the description of this one for you in case you missed it. But one of the sets that's retiring and I'm really bummed about is a set called um, Tasteful Textures. And I would have done a class on this, but I kind of ran out of time. Um, and I really like it. And it comes with these two dies plus this one. And I used this one on our card today. It's a really fun set. Lots of different things you can do with it. And I also really like the sentiments in here. Um, and I think this is really perfect. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. And I think right now it's such a good time to have, um, have time to kind of rejuvenate yourself with all the craziness that's happening. So here's that card. And this was based on a swap card I received and I changed it up a little bit and I really like what I came up with. So for this, I'm going to start with some of our perennial essence printed paper. And oh, it's so hard to pick which side to use. So gorgeous. Um, and I die cut that piece out of here. I'm going to um, pop this up onto a piece of old olive carb stock and I love having that kind of that popped up look uh, especially on this where you've got the the part below that is sticking out and we'll just put some dimensionals all around this is a great way to use up some of those edge pieces and then I have kind of pulled some of the colors from this um, pattern paper and there's lots of different colors in this paper but I pulled some of those together and chose my card base to be old olive and then I've also got a layer of Bermuda Bay now in the kind of coordinating colors list it lists uh, bash or um, balmy blue I did not like the look of balmy blue with this so I've switched to the Bermuda and I was much happier Sometimes you just have to change things. Now, I'm just realizing I did not stamp my sentiment on here, and I'm really kicking myself because I have dimensionals on the back, and that might not work out so hot, but we're going to do our best. So I will stamp my sentiment in black ink on here, and I'll stamp that down like that. Hopefully, it'll be okay. Oh, sometimes I marvel at my stamping skills. Makes me happy. Okay, so I've got this layer and I'm going to adhere that to the Bermuda Bay layer. And I can't remember the dimensions of these. So I will have them on my blog for you. Now I did emboss a one and a quarter or three quarters inch strip with my subtle embossing folder. And then I'm going to take, there's the coordinating background piece, which actually I need to pull out of my stamp set here. And I'm going to stamp that uh, on the background of my old olive layer. And I love this image. It's just kind of a cool look. I'll stamp it in old olive. And I'll bring my protective paper back in here to keep from my work surface from getting covered in ink. So we'll stamp that. And you know what? I'm going to stamp it off and then stamp it on here again. And I get that lighter shade and I think that looks good. I'll do another one over here and you can ink up. Um, and we'll do that was a stamped off one and we'll do a full strength. You can ink that up and get really cool effects. Isn't that pretty? Now one thing about this stamp set is we do have some new texture sets coming but nothing with the dies that like this. So I really like this one and I highly recommend it to you. Now I'll adhere this to the back and that subtle embossing folder is just one that I can use on so many different cards. It's so versatile. We'll add this to the background. And then last but not least, um, on my card that I'm basing this off of my swap card, there's a little bow right here, but I think I'm gonna put little um, rhinestones in the center uh, the centers of these kind of flowers and I think that will be kind of cool 
So I'll put one right here and one down here, a smaller one up there, a smaller one here, and then maybe a medium one up top. And I think that stands out really nicely against that darker background. Isn't that a cool car card? <laughs> oh, love it. All right. Now I did save the best for last. Of course, we're going to use my favorite retiring stamp set. It is so awesome. It's on sale and the dies that coordinate with it are on sale and I'm going to use both tonight. So I've got a half sheet of Whisper White cardstock. And we'll give that a good crease with my bone folder. Then I'm going to, woo, that piece is stapled. <laughs> I'm going to pull out my stamps. And for this, I'm doing a fun color combination. I'm going to use uh, one of our retiring colors, which is blueberry bushel. And it pairs oh so nicely with Coastal Cabana. Granny Apple Green and Daffodil Delight. So a nice, fun color combination for this card. So I'm going to start, actually, I'm going to start with my Coastal Cabana. And on here, and by the way, I'll bring all of my cards back in um, before we're done. Oh, goodness, I was worried that wasn't clean, and it is. Yay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stamp, ooh, I'm going to stamp on my panel, not on my card. I'm going to stamp off that first layer of ink so I get a lighter shade. I'll continue to do this sort of around my card. And it looks like I've got a little schmutz on my stamp. Ooh, it's kind of stuck on there. Let me give this a clean. There we go. Yep, I got it off. Um, sometimes you can pick up dust and whatnot when your stamp is sitting or when you stamp it off, there's if there's dust on your work surface, that happens. Okay, so I kind of stamped this around. Now I'll do the detail uh, images over the top. And my favorite part about this stamp set is there you can't really line it up. <laughs> sort of like that by design, which I love. I think it just makes really pretty cards. So easy to do. Next up, I will add the smaller flower in my blueberry bushel. Same thing, stamp off the first layer, spread these around to fill up my space. And then I'll add the detail over the top full strength. So cute. All right, next up, I'm going to add some leaves to this. And then I'll finish it off by adding some flowers in the background. So we'll stamp off our leaves and put them on here. Like so. And I just love that pop of green. It looks so nice with our card. That looks pretty good. Then we can do the detail over the top in full strength, just like we did before. And all the stamping is going to be so worth it. Okay, the last thing I want to do is to kind of fill this out a little bit. I'm going to use some Daffodil Delight. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to stamp that off so it's not too dark. And then we'll just fill in our different areas with this stamped image. And look at how that fits. Just perfect. Stamp that off. Now, one thing, when you're using a light color like this, be careful where you're stamping off because you can pick up the other colors. If I did that actually right here a little bit, you can see there's a teeny touch of color right there. 
Um, and then the other thing is um, if you need a partial, so I can fit like this bunch of flowers in. So I just clean my stamp and I'll ink up just these flowers. I'll stamp off that ink and then add it right there where it fits. Perfect. And I actually, I'm going to do that once again over here with those. So really handy, handy to be able to do just partial. Okay, so isn't that happy? All right, now to finish this off, um, what I want to do is I've got, I've cut a label from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, and I'm gonna pop this layer up on top of my card. I'm also gonna stamp my sentiment on a little strip that's about um, a half of an inch. It's a piece left over from trimming down layers of cardstock like this one. And I kind of keep them handy because I can use them for different things. All right, I've got that on there. And um, this set has a lot of great sentiments, but I love how the thank you fits right over the butterfly I'm going to add to this. So using those springtime impressions dies, I cut to my butterfly in black because I thought that would really stand out on my card nicely. And then I've got my thank you. And I'll snip that off. I'm going to take my triple banner punch, which is one of my favorite punches, and just punch the ends of this here and here like so. All right, now I'll take and kind of curl my wings just a little bit because I love giving things dimension. I'm going to adhere them or adhere this butterfly to my card using a few glue dots right on top of that label like so which is perfect. And then I will pop my sentiment right on top, but we'll pop that up so it stands out just a little bit. All right, and the final step before I adhere this to my card is probably my favorite step. And that is, I'm going to spritz it. Okay, so to do that, I'll grab a black marker and oh this one has been well loved this one um survived a retreat i think we're gonna throw it away <laughs> it survived like 60 ladies using it over the course of a weekend <laughs> so i'm gonna just put my marker in the cap and give it a good squeeze listen for the sound oh look at that i'll do it one more time and I get some great little speckles of color. How awesome is that? All right, the last thing I wanna do is also add some spritzes of shimmer. This is a, a clear wing Costella, and then I'm just gonna smack it against my marker. When I do that, I get little droplets of shimmer all over my card. And can you see all that? Oh, so pretty. Okay. To finish this up, I'll take my card base that I folded way back when, glue it to my card, and I have a gorgeous card. Uh, I did a video, and I'll link that one in here as well, on Sunday for my Simple to Stunning Sundays. And um, I made some cards with a different color combination that I really loved using the stamp set, and you might be inspired by those. So thank you for joining me for this video. It was really long, but look at these. One, two, three, four, five, six awesome cards we created with some of my favorite stamp sets that are retiring. So don't forget to take advantage of my birthday special. It ends tonight. If you come after my birthday special's over, don't worry, I still have great um, gifts that I send with purchases, and this time it includes handmade cards. Thank you guys so much for being a uh, part of the Creativity Cave. I appreciate your business and your support. Your orders help continue bringing awesome videos like this each week, and happy, happy stamping, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.